Circadian dice is supposed to be some kind of dice builder, a genre of which I really don't know anything. The last thing I would think of would be like, uh, dicey dungeons, um, which was good, but I don't know if that's really a dice builder. It's more of a, like a deck builder with dice in it, if that makes sense. Uh, I saw Northern Lion give this one a shot the other day, and I just thought it looked like a really cool concept. I don't know almost anything about this game, and it's on itch.io. It's one of those ones where it's like, you could do it for free, but go, like, give them a donation. Um, it doesn't have to be a ton, but, you know, enough. I mean, it seems, it seems pretty good for itch.io. Um, kind of reminds me of... Oh, what were those games? They were kind of like Bejeweled. Not really Bejeweled, but... I don't know, I'm just- I, I'm fascinated by the idea of building dice. Wait a minute, what did I- what, how did I get out of that? That is a little bit janky. Didn't mean to do that and it is such a neg- Oh, here we go, story- oh, so that is literally to find out the story of the game, but that's not the story. Okay, that is a little odd, but okay. I understand it. Um... Hmm. Okay, so we've got tutorial, we've got a bandit raid. Basically, you have like card-based enemies and you start to build up the sides of your dice. So you're playing with randomness there. We are a, a cleric. Can't change out my class in the tutorial. Okay, so let's just do the tutorial. Circadian dice, this game is all about dice. <laughs> your dice are used to gain resources and defeat enemies. Okay, you start your scenario with two six-sided dice. This is what you will have rolled for your first turn. Okay. The panels below show all the faces of each side of the die. Okay, so again, um, I played a lot of board games as a kid. Dice have six sides, remember everyone. Probability. Enemies appear, appear in waves. This tutorial scenario has six waves of enemies. First wave has only a single scarecrow. Let's practice using your dice to defeat it. Are there dice in this game? I think they've said dice about 30 times. The current roll isn't very useful. The reroll button shows how many rerolls you have left in this turn. Okay, so, yeah, we already have our health and we don't need any defense, it seems. Go to this roll, we can attack for one damage and gain one goal. Keep button. Or a roll of dive. Now click and drag the sword. Okay, so we can do that. Ah. Ah. The Foley effects are pleasing to me. And so we can, so I guess we get like a limited number of rerolls per battle. Next turn, when all enemies are defeated, you run out of turns, the wave ends. Next. Okay. Game one shriek and score 70 points. Six turns left. Who knows what these points are for, but it's, it's still in development. I, or I don't know if it's still in development. Maybe it's done with development. It's a very simple game, perhaps. Six turns left and one shriek times ten. You matter gain that. Um, this is hard because I don't know what the money is for. I'm gonna go just gain some... Okay. You can upgrade your dice at almost any time. Each upgrade changes to... Ah, that is very nice. And see, this is what I was looking forward to because the idea of enhancing your probability is very exciting to me. Hmm, you can upgrade... Um, so, we do have money. I don't know, what should we buy? I feel like that... Mm, blue, gain one blue gem for each blue gem symbol on this face. Now, I don't know what gems do yet. But me thinks that if we got more gold, that would increase the rate of improvement. And hence, we should get more gold because that will make us improve yet even faster. No? So, me thinks... Combining these would also be good because that would diversify and mitigate our risk. And having more of something is also better. Let's get this because... Ah, and you can pick which... Ooh, this is very nice to control and I like it. Okay, you know, I will, uh, uh, personally, I wouldn't have put it there, but okay. You don't have XP. So you could make one of your die, dice, like, entirely gold if you wanted. This is quite good game design. At the end of each turn, the bottom is, and this is something that you couldn't really do with a physical board game. See what I'm saying? Because you couldn't just keep changing the dice like this, or it would be very difficult to do. This is much better done in video form. Need gems to use abilities, shield bash, cause... Okay, so then this gives us ability things. We drag the... That is quite nice! Each time you use it, you, you lose the ability. Okay. 
All right, we will wait for this. I guess the Scarecrow is just a dummy enemy. Um, choose a reward. Gain one streak and score 80 points. Now, I don't really get what this streaking is. I don't think it involves stripping down and running across campus. But okay. Let's just have more gold. I'm just gonna go straight for the money in this. What sort of dice has his opinions formed by preconceived notions? A prejudice. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then these birds will actually attack me. Alright, this is what we were waiting for. Good, now it gets more difficult. Uh, okay, so then this is attack and this is health. Hmm. Shield bash we will use, but that will upgrade only part of our die dice. So, okay, all right. Um, I like that, but I don't really like that. Let's see if I can, yeah, okay. All right, and then that gives us more abilities. I suppose that we have like leveling up. This is very good, I'm liking this. I think that this could be a whole entirely new genre. Strategic retreat, four charges, aspect of healing. Um, would like to improve my healing, so I'll take that. And unfortunately, I don't have any options here. I get attacked, I lose two health. And... I figure that we might be better off gaining more gold this turn, right? Yeah. Let's bring this in here. And we'll put it, like, there-ish. That is... I'm liking this. Yeah, let's see if we can get more gold. Let's just give me all the gold, baby. Gain 13 XP. Okay, okay, so you can choose between that and XP. Gain to die, click anywhere to continue. Oh, so now we have a third die. This is also rather pleasing because it could keep on scaling up this way. Keep taking more score at the end, more points next time if you take it. Ah, so then, oh, okay, so then taking more points would improve the overall drops or something like this. That is quite nice. But also, too, if we specialize each die in, like, one thing, that would be quite nice. Add two heart symbols to target non-trap die phase, so choose one target. Ah. I could do it there, and then could it... It can't change my current roll. That is unfortunate. But very well, then. Very well. I don't really like any of these. Okay. I think I can take out one of these demon crows. But unfortunately, here I am stuck. Oh, I was carrying a chest. Um, wow, that is rather inventive, too. Oh, that is also fun. I suppose we could just wait on the chest, though. That's fine. Uh, let's buy something with more gold. Oh, but then we're forced to use these dice. Ah, okay. And there is an opportunity in cost in using the gold because, I mean, we are giving up something to use it, so that's fine. This is quite an interesting game, although I will say, like, you know, it's not as graphically advanced as, uh, you know, it doesn't have 16 times the detail. It still is very good game design. Like, this is nice. I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? I, I'm just trying to think of, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, tell you what's going through my mind when I'm, when I'm playing. Need some fruit loops. Oh, like, uh, like loop here. Which are really fast. You only have two turns to defeat them. So what happens then if I don't, if there are enemies left when the waves run out, they disappear, but each fear, oh, so my fear will rise if they, if I don't manage to kill all the waves of enemies. Okay. You can use this trap to try to capture an enemy and it's dying. Chance of successful capture is reduced by 10% for each health the enemy has. If the capture fails, the trap gets bonus to... Alright, let's try that. Trap can only be used to capture one enemy. Play once in a... His face becomes blank. Blank faces are useless, so they are good spots to install upgrades. Ah, ha ha. Each enemy you capture has a special ability that either happens once you capture it or gives them a bonus for as long as the enemy remains captured. Miles over the capture... Oh, gain one gold when I deal... Okay, so I now I may have incentivized to do major attacks. That is quite nice. Can I... Oh, this already is applied, this shield. Okay. Last turn. Hmm, the fang lace can be captured. Mm, okay. 
The crow I captured in this die has two attacks, so the fang will deal. Okay. Okay, so then this will go there, so I take him out, and that will go there, so I take him out. Okay. I'm thinking. Let's just keep going high risk, high reward. Take more points. Okay, now, of course, we are fighting some sort of Neil Young. Boss's shield reduces the damage of your non piercing attacks by one try. Ah, so then. See, this is combining a lot of concepts from a lot of deck builders that I have played many times. This is very, very good game design based on a lot of other stuff. Okay, now I'm going to shut up about this. Um, I really admire what they've done here. And too much tutorial. No, I, I actually... I, I'm just getting more and more excited every second that I do this tutorial. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, at the same time, I could... Ah, oh, goddammit, I did worse. I could see it as becoming, like, too intellectual, almost, at the same time. Like, sometimes games like this aren't as much fun for content creation, I will say. Granted that. Because, goddammit, I did this wrong. Yeah, I'm supposed to do this here. I, I could have made better use of my gold. Could have made, Could have done that. Could have been somebody. It is quite pleasing, though. Quite pleasing, indeed. Okay, we gotta go fang. This thing. I leveled up. My max health increased by three, but I didn't quite get what I needed. He's gonna do two damage. I'll be okay in this, though. I've got time. I've got time. Okay, so I finished the wave, but... At the same time, couldn't I have restored more health? It's a little... it's a little confusing. Miss Viora, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, my friend. Hmm. I'll say this, there's a lot of things that are, like, a little bit rough around the edges. Like, uh... You know, like, I don't find it quite as pleasing in terms of, like, all the, like, foley effects and things like that that you have. But this is really good game design. And, like, all of that stuff can be... Like, you know, uh, Slay the Spire is very hit or miss with a lot of people graphically. This is fantastic. Hmm, select more relics. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so give me all of the... God damn it, I can't see. Start with plus four maximum health. Heart symbols on your dice restore two health instead of one, or gain one gold at the end of each wave. Hmm, I think heart potion would be quite good. This is very- I could get very addicted to this game. This reminds me of, um... Oh god, what is- what was that game? For the- they made it for like everything. It was based on Candy Crush. But they had some- it was like a medieval version of it. It was fantasy. Hey, serious Beard, how- oh, serious Bread. How are you? Thanks for coming out. It's, uh, you know, we're trying out new- Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Trying out new stuff. Would be nice if I kept that level, but I guess each journey I go on, I like... Gain something new. Now, this is useless to me. Keep re-rolling here. God damn it. Ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, so each time that you restock, it's different. Okay. This is... This is nice. I want to take out a few of them. Let's just take our losses, and we'll do that. Monster- I actually didn't play Monster Train, but it's one of those ones that looked great. I still want to play Monster Train. Captured him. There might be some advantage in capturing a really high-level enemy. Now let's try to capture that uh, chest. Take him out. Meditate three charges. Remove all the debuffs. Hmm, gain one streak. I'm still trying to figure out what this streak thing does. If I like, yeah, this is like, if you enjoy Slay the Spire, this one is the creme, I think. Like that. Teeth. Reduce the enemy's attack by one. Double all gold earned for the rest of this turn. Reduce. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. No gold this time, unfortunately. I still think we have a pretty decent shot at getting two... God damn it. 
Ah, that's fine. Let's get uh, Shield Bash going. Oh, it's already active. Oh, I used it on a different thing. Still trying to figure that part out. All right, all right. Okay. It's very much like participating in a, a great algorithm. It's like, um... God, it kills me that I forget the name of this game. I think that's based on Bejeweled. I'm gonna remember it right when I'm done streaming. Mm, three, man, all the costs have gone up by a lot. Ah, oh, I got a blank sign. Ah, uh, I'm not really getting the luck. <laughs> I was hoping to get these two. Now I'm just getting my ass kicked. Hmm. Okay, we'll do teeth. Teeth would be fine because I need a lot more gold. Okay, alright. Raining gold. We'll do something like this. See, there's something, like, very satisfying about using the geometries of the dice like that, you know? Like, I wish I could do this in real life with a dice. It'd be nice. You'd like that. Hmm. Yeah, re-roll these. This isn't any good. Okay, we could take out two with this. That's nice. To bring a chance to add a temporary attack to the roll when keeping this die. Okay. Okay, let's see if this goblin will... Yes, the goblin did help us. Okay. Thank you, goblin ally. More score means more stars for faster scenario unlocks. Ah. So, basically, try to keep up in your score, or as or uh, your shriek as much as you can. Ah, yes, Puzzle Quest. That was the game. I have really fond memories of Puzzle Quest. I don't know why. It's such, like, a simple game. But, like, it... That was... That was a banger for me. 25% chance to attack itself. All these abilities, too. This is very deep. I'm liking it. Mm. Let's get this guy down a bit. Good. And now I've got another die. So as long as I keep getting that level up, it's going to improve my all my shots and everything. Piercing attack. Deal one piercing damage for each arrow symbol on this face. Piercing damage is not reduced by shields or barrier. That is quite good. Do that. Take him out with the other one. But the fact that there's other classes, too, and I enjoy it enough. I feel like that you could get a lot of replay value out of something like this. Or if it were more, like, produced. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm, I thought I didn't like it as much before, but I, I like it more now. Oh, God damn it! I failed to capture. Alas. Is this one free? You can get it for free, but it, I would... I would, uh, I would, I would give it a donation. Uh, it's one of those ones on itch.io, like, technically, you could, but I think they request, or they suggest, like, a $3 donation. Um, though that could be as high as you want. It could be one million dollars. Damn it, I thought that was two. Oh well. Hmm. That's good. Any thoughts for when the next community quiz will be? I'm thinking, like, uh, God. I was thinking of doing another community stream on, like, the next weekend. Because I feel like that the weekends are a good time for that. Now, did we just get this chest? Hmm. Yeah, either that or, like, something... Oh, God. Something with voting or something along those lines. Hmm. Now we've got a beast rider here. Other enemies have plus... Okay, so this guy is like a big support mage, so it might behoove us to take him out first, because otherwise we might just get our asses kicked in this. This is not easy, either. Hmm. Okay, so then this one... Oh, there is... Oh, the fang has to do with capture. There's so much more text to read here than I was really prepared for. I regret that. This won't work. I'm Ooh, that did work. because Oh, because of the goblin there. Okay. I may have saved my ass for another turn. Do that. And then I guess I'll put this one on. The troll brute appears to have more attack than all of the others. This is really reminding me of combining dice and card games. It's just very pleasing. I think I will keep this. Yes. Yes, I will have this. A hundred percent chance to capture this one. All right, I'll go for it. Fantastic. 
there could be a lot of variety in this. I am I am now highly recommending this game. I've been playing this for only, what, 20 minutes, and I, I'm just enjoying it a lot. I like things like this that consume my attention because it... I feel like this is often the reason why I play games, is to just kind of, like, forget about whatever's on my mind. Mm hmm, unlocking things, I like that. Hmm, the ninja way. I feel like, I'm wondering how much difficulty there is in the game, though. I feel like that this could scale really high. Do phasmophobia? Oh, God. I, I wasn't crazy about phasmophobia. I, I guess if I had VR, I would like it. I, I was sad, because I thought I would like it more. Hey, DF, welcome in. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. We're making our way to Florida in this playthrough. Uh, let's see what we get. All abilities have 50% more charges. Let's find out about the ninja, though. What was the cleric's ability? Oh, he had that shield bash and the holy light. Okay, so those were the things that we selected for him. But we could also combine any of these other things with any of the other people. Hmm, stun all enemies, deal one energy damage to target enemy. I kind of like my cleric abilities, though, how I got more hearts. Like, more healing. You know, the heart of the cards. I must equip one relic in this scenario. Very well. But if I go against something... Um, oh, so you could play it better. And you could get a higher score in each one, and that's how you unlock each one. So that's where, like, the difficulty is, is you want to play it with greater elegance. Parlet's Crossing is a small hamlet near Morwood has suffered from regular bandit raids. I like this kind of thing. This is like Puzzle Quest, where you get, like, some... Ah, uh, flavor text in there. That is quite nice. Yes, I am tasting the flavors. 50% more charges. I'll do this. I need gold. Alright, alright. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. And you need to complete it with each class so that you can gain more uh, charges. Thank you, Soul, soul of Orged. Orged. Yeah, like a psychedelic healing frog team. Think of it exactly like that. Now what is this? Fearing attack adds fear instead of dealing damage when attacking, and that can't be good. Um, so yeah, that'll bring us closer to scenario end if we mess that up. Mm, we could either do an early buy or we could save our money. Chain. Resources and attacks on this face are multiplied by the number of chains on all... Oh, wow. My god, this is... I just can't shut the hell up about this. Now this was really stupid. I should have just taken a good thing when I had it. I went for two good things and I, I got my ass kicked. But let's use this here. I think here would be good, yeah. Okay, uh, I got experience for that too. Now experience, why don't I get experience for upgrading? Buy up. Okay, so buying things gives you experience. And normally in real life, I would disagree. I don't really feel like I've experienced a lot more when I've bought something. But okay, game. Hmm. So fight him. And then we'll gain the streak because that seems to be good for us. So it's like EDF. What is EDF? Each class has five stars. His bats look like they flew in from Sesame Street. <laughs> Yeah, they were counting. They were busy counting there. Hmm. And then we do, let's do this. Let's start to upgrade our dice. That's nice. I like that. Preach, capture enemy target. Remove all debuffs from two random debuffed faces. Gain two health. Lose, oh, well, if we could lose fear, that'd be good because it seems like fear is a theme in this battle. And it seems as if we can just have some max number of each of these. Ah, uh, this is nice. Mm. I will re-roll simply because I don't need the defense. I need attack right now. Okay, that is very good. Yes, absolutely, yes. Do that and that because we don't want him to steal our life. I mean life. Very good, very good. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it again. I'm gonna see if I can roll those. T God damn it! And again, it did not work. Oh well. But I did block that fear attack, and we took him down. Keep upping our streak. 
Now, I don't know what this is as like a view. I imagine that this is not that much fun to view. I will probably not do this more because I feel like that it's... This is more one of those things that I would watch and then I would want to try it for myself. But I feel like that this is one of those games where it's kind of like... It's like an algorithm being played out in your brain when you play it, you know? Like, and it's it's very enjoyable to participate in, but I feel like that it's just not as much fun to watch as a stream. I don't know. What do you think? I, I kind of wanted to do this because I thought it would be like a good discovery, but now I'm kind of feeling like, like it's maybe not as, what is that? Can't be rolled. Hey, that got Muffet around. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Now, obviously, we need even stronger... Here we go. Yeah. Because we got to take them out pretty much in the entire term. Yeah, it's kind of like an E3 show. I, I don't know. I suppose that's a good way to to look at it. It's kind of like uh, show and tell. Show and tell is what we're having here. Mm, holy light. Increase your maximum health by two. Gain seven health. Okay. All right. That seems pretty good. And we'll get ourselves another shield best. Now, can we get even... It is already active. Oops. Uh, let's use that on this guy because we want to just take him down. I mean, it's definitely one of the more interesting games, especially for its, like, size. You know, I mean, I would I would expect to see something like this more on Steam than on an itch.io. But it is quite nice. Uh, oh, I did not manage to kill that one in time, so then I gained fear. Wave complete, choose a reward. Gain three. I'll take the XP. XP is usually good. It's like a B movie as a game. Overly terrible dialogue that just adds to... I feel like that this game could have a cult around it, though. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's try to take out the Bat King in one hit. Oh my god, I took right down the Bat King. That is really overpowered. <laughs> Double attacks on this die if fear is greater than five. Aw, oh, that is quite sad that my fear is not greater than five. Quite sad indeed. Hmm, ooh, lifesteal. My god, I just keep finding new things that I like. These are all familiar gaming tropes, but they are being used in such inventive ways. Oh, let's just open that. Very, very fun. Here for the streamer, not just the game. Yeah, the game, that's true. I don't know. I mean, part of my stream, I, I always regretted that I wasn't showing off more indie experiences because I think there's just so many good ones out there. So, Well, thank you, anyway. I appreciate that, Roger. Hmm. Oh, I think uh, plus three charges. Um, you know, let's, let's play high risk, high reward. Yeah, let's keep gaining that fear. Great. Undead Knight. Now, these people want to fill me with fear. But I think at this point, we could kind of... We could kind of live with that amount of fear. That would be fine, yeah. So let's just kill the bats. Here we are, and then take this. I find that trapping of monsters to just be so extremely overpowered. Okay, that's pretty good. Replace the- well, I wanted to replace the blank, but on the other hand, too, I wouldn't want to do that with one with a trap on it, because then I would capture something in another spot. Um, like, I would need to have something that didn't have a trap on that. Um, but yes, otherwise. Hmm. Okay, is this guy- no, he's not gonna kick my ass that bad. Let's get another shield. Ooh. Shield bash. Ah, barely missed him. But at least I got a little bit of block on that, too going to need more. Still got, I feel like I can't roll swords it, uh, for the life of me. Um, Alright, capture him. Good, now we captured him on that die. Now we, yes, we do need to replace quite a lot of these. Hmm, let's keep on gaining streak. Vampire. Well, we're doing splendidly for this. Hmm. What next? Okay, now we should replace the blank. Now we can get a stun on here, and this dice looks like ass. So we could combine it with whatever synergies are on this. This could be a really addicting game. Hmm. Five key. I don't really need the key. The key seems kind of underpowered. Let's just reroll these. We need more attack. The best defense is a good offense. 
the best defense is the Kansas City Chiefs. Hmm. Okay, this, and then this. That's what I feel like kind of my brain just to amounts to when- Oh god, I did that way too fast. Oh, this is the last turn. The fact that you need to finish it all off within a certain number of turns is quite fill of quite pressure filled. Nya ha ha ha. Nya ha ha ha. We have defeated evil. All right, well we got five fear. Uh, let's just do that. Yet even more streak. And then we will buy a capture for this because it seems to be very powerful if you do the capturing of anything. And some of these die faces are just too good now. Mm, stun the enemy. If I stun this enemy, this would be a great. This could be a great round. He's got that block on him though. But this has piercing. Let's do this. That way he's stunned. And then I think that we can take out the bat because I don't want that fear. He's gonna life steal me anyway. So let's just bring him down to one. That's good. Hmm. This die looks like an ass. Which die looks like an ass? <laughs> hmm. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna feel like I'm missing out since I'm not seeing the ass. What does capturing do? So capturing does different things depending upon what you capture. Double attacks if the die if the fear is greater than five, which we don't have, unfortunately, but we don't really want high fear. Gain two health when you score one or more... One or more shields with this die. So I'm not really... Like, you would want a lot of shields on this die. Um, I'm not really using it perfectly. But this is a very neat concept. I just feel like that there's so much optimization you could do. That seems good enough for that turn. Ah, here we are. The last turn. Okay, I'm going to count you. Got him. Seven out of eight. And the gra difficulty is scaling up gradually, but I still don't feel like that it's so hard. But I do feel quite intimidated by that animation. Piercing attack ignores your shield when attacking. Because this person is just going to rip me to pieces, pretty much. And lifesteal, and boss, and... Just... Basically everything horrible that can happen to you. Let's... Uh, we do have a fourth die now. That is quite good. I want to make sure that there's, like, attack on everything in here. Hmm, <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's important in a game isn't look, but what it provides. This is what big companies like Ubisoft. Yeah, like this is extremely good game design with just normal graphics and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of companies that focus on everything around the game design, like all the cap packaging. Um. But this is extremely good. Or I'm enjoying it. We got horrible rolls this turn. We. Might actually die. I'm just gonna keep blaming the rolls. It's all the rolls' fault. Hey, Choga. Choga, thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. I should be using these abilities more. I'm just gonna keep on pressing everything. I feel like I could have made better use of the. Oh, right. Well, this is not a room full of regrets. Let's just be thankful for what we got. I'll take that, because these guys are gonna life steal me anyway. I still have six turns left, though. That seems like a good, a goodly amount of time. Let's focus on attack. I'm still not getting these attack rolls I want. Okay, this is better. Focus everything on one gentleman. And what does this guy do? Attacks on this die have lifesteal. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm, a gi I'm gonna give you what you want. Hmm. It's still not quite there. The, the one thing is that you have to accept all of your dice at once. It'd be nice if there was some ability that maybe this exists in the game that you could re-roll just like one of your dice. Fortunately, this boss does not power up its allies, though, so that is quite good. Hmm. Okay, very well. I see what you are doing here, boss. Mr. Boss. Okay, this is, but I'm still not all that challenged, though. These are good rolls, though. Just stunned. Good. I'm not... Good. Good. But I do feel powerful. But I feel like it's almost just luck. Not like I've got... Oh, God damn it. Oh, it was in the number of turns that I didn't do it. Alright, I wasn't paying attention to that. 
Okay, so then it is kind of it's kind of like uh, I'm trying to figure out if this is roguelike or roguelite or even just a puzzle game. Do I even really upgrade? I suppose that you could always get more of these things. So it's kind of more like on the roguelike end of the spectrum. I mean, seems legit. What are your guys' thoughts on it? It's a roguelite since you have relics. That's true. But at the same time, well, that's true. You know, if, if assuming that some of these are really overpowered at the end, then it would make the game a lot easier. That's true. Fair enough, fair enough. So then roguelite. But there is a lot of RNG, though, too, that it does feel kind of more puzzly. Not that it needs to be a roguelite or a roguelike. But there's also hard mode that we still have yet to unlock, and then whatever this thing is at the very end. And I am a big fan of secret endgame updates. Mm, like Rogue, it's not a... Uh, that's, that's, that's true, that's true. Uh, but we're, I don't want to get into this philosophical debate, though. But it, it's, it's interesting. It, it's something I had never seen. A dice building. Hmm. <laughs> it's true. Well, it feels it feels easy, but it I think the difficulty needs to be scaled a little bit differently. Like, why am I so limited in terms of number of turns? That's why I feel like it's more like puzzle and less like RPG, you know what I mean? And I like RPG more than puzzle, personally, but that's just my preference. But there it is, um, circadian dice. Circadian, a beautiful word. <laughs> 